this is my lathe. Um, I had a project on here for a while, uh, which um, I've been meaning to get finished. I made this um, over a year ago, uh, and uh, I finally got it working. What it is, is an uh, electronic version of a clutch handle, such as you get on an older lathe. Um, but uh, just, just I wanted one, just because it makes it easier, um, rather than leaning up to the top over the chuck, you know, turning it on and off with the um, MBR switch, changing the direction up here. I wanted to be able to control it down here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's got a sprung detent to the two positions. Um, could probably do with tightening up a little, actually. That's better. Um, so that way is for forwards. Uh, that normal rotation. That's for reverse. Um, neutral is off. Uh, the emergency brake pedal down on the floor. Down there. Um, when that gets pressed, uh, irrespective of what position it's in, it will stop the stop the lathe. You have to return it to the neutral position and then back to a, a rotation to uh, to get it to turn. This is the um, the circuit for the uh, clutch handle. The clutch has um, handle has uh, two hall sensors in, which um, which pull low. Um, uh, connected onto this connector here, so we got five volts going out and a ground connection, and then the two signals from the the forward and reverse sensors uh, pulled up with resist, pull up resistors there, uh, going into an XOR gate. The XOR gate um, decides whether one or the other is activated. Uh, if it's both or none, that's obviously uh, neutral or or an uh, illegal condition, invalid condition. Um, so if one or the other is activated, the enable signal goes high, so that drives the um, uh, BLDC drive up to on. Um, it also clears this flip flop here, which is the brake output. So the brake pedal is connected here. So Whenever that's pressed, that'll load a one, so sending the brake output high uh, on, into the flip flop. Um, irrespective of how many times you press the pedal, it'll just uh, it'll just drive it to one, um, and then uh, it means you have to cycle the, um, the clutch handle back to neutral, and then to whichever direction you want to go to restart it, and that'll that drives the clear input of this flip flop to uh, to clear the um, Clear the brake, uh, and the other output is uh, the rotation, um, which is just taken off uh, this the forward um, designated um, input there, and I'm just running it through a an inverter just to buffer it, um, so that it's uh, there's no interaction between this circuit and the uh, the downstream circuit. Um, so that's the uh, that's the electronics. Now the motor in this lathe originally was a thousand watt brushed motor which was this one um quite a big beast as you can see put my hand next to it um and i've replaced it with a 1000 watt brushless motor which should have more power effectively as it's more efficient uh, it's a 96 or 95 volt sorry um brushless motor uh and i'm using one of these bldc motor controllers off off ebay um you know, they're, they're everywhere um they all seem to be the same uh which w was a, a problem because they're only good for 80 volts um and really they're not good for that they're only really good for 50 volts um so i had to do a little bit of modification so i disconnected the um uh, power side of this controller from the control side so that i could um, uprate the MOSFETs and the capacitor um, to 160 volt um, rated MOSFETs um, and a 200 volt cap, so plenty of headroom there. Um, and then I'm driving the um, the control side off of one one half of my power supply. Um, in order to get the 96 volts, I bought two 48 volt power supplies. Um, so the control electronics is run off the first, which I'm actually running at 43. Um, and then I'm running the 
the upper side at 53 um, uh, to get close to the uh, well to get the 96 volts um, it's quite simple to operate I haven't got a use for this switch at the moment I was toying with um, potentially switching um, the the power supplies so that um, one position would be 96 volts and the other position would be the 43 to get really low speeds but I don't think that actually um, is necessary because it seems to work fairly well um, let's just demonstrate so power um, MBR switch turns on the power supplies um, and then the control there turns the motor on That goes quite slowly. Um, most of the noise you can hear there is the um, uh, chuck keyholes rattling around. They seem to rattle when it goes slowly. And that's full speed. And this is what happens when I press the brake. Stops dead. Excellent. Um, unfortunately, I managed to kill my um, uh, speed readout uh, in this process, uh, so I'll have to fix that. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the lathe clutch handle, um, and it works.